Uh, hey guys, so anyway, so here I am driving um, and uh, I'm in California right now so I'll be visiting a lot of my friends and subscribers here which is uh, super awesome and exciting um, and as you can see, yes, I'm not driving in a classic Mercedes uh, as of right now I probably will next time but as of right now I'm just driving a, a rental vehicle it's just a boring uh, Nissan Versa uh, it's got 40,000 miles obviously automatic but it's just uh it's only got 40,000 miles but it feels like it's already like falling apart and stuff and what's crazy is that um there's an oil change sticker that says that the oil change uh, the oil change was done um so right now the car has about like 40,000 miles okay and uh, the oil change was done about uh, 31,000 miles uh so the car you know I usually like to change my oil every three to four thousand miles, but this car it's like way way overdue. So at least I I pop the hood open. I mean, there's still oil in there. It's in the middle, but it's super dirty, like and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty crazy how these rental companies they just don't care whatsoever, guys. Anyways, guys, so I'm currently driving to uh, one of the Mercedes enthusiasts. Uh, place uh, so I'm about an hour away right now so I'm driving to this place right now it should be a lot of fun I mean he's he's a huge Mercedes enthusiast he has a lot of those cars as well and he builds them all the time and you know it's it's pretty awesome I can't wait to actually see him and you know just talk and uh, you know meet up finally in person so it should be a lot of fun All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you a car that I'm uh, driving with. Uh, this is a 2018 Nissan Versa, and this is actually, I mean, I, I'm going to tell you right away that, you know, I'm not a fan of new cars and things like that. But uh, this is a 2018 car, and it's actually this car has been through a lot, you know, mainly it's because it's a rental car. So people uh, abuse it the way they can, you know which is kind of sad you know but uh this rear bumper has been uh, repainted already and uh, the crazy part is that somebody fixed up um some i don't know there was some kind of an accident and uh, you know this door was damaged and this door was damaged and i can see that the doors were removed before so i don't know if they did anything else if they did any repairs to these i didn't really investigate too much you know but uh i really don't care but whoever was fixing it painting it did the worst job possible um you know the paint job is some kind of a rattle can paint job and uh, over here you probably can't see right now but i noticed that after they painted it somebody touched it with their finger and left uh um you know uh, a trace from the fingerprint you know so <laughs> and then look how badly this is painted right here they just literally they didn't even take care of uh you know uh masking it off the right way they didn't really care so yeah that's uh it's a pretty bad job so yeah this guy has seen a lot of stuff and it's only got 40,000 miles and the crazy part is that i don't know why but the rental companies they never put uh floor mats so as you can see the right foot is always there and it wore through the factory floor mat uh carpet and stuff so yeah pretty crazy guys and uh like i said the oil hasn't been changed on this thing uh you know it's way overdue but you know i'm just gonna all obviously make sure that it's not gonna run out of oil you know so if it's if it needs to be topped off i'll top it off whatever but uh it's pretty crazy that's how they take care of these uh things at the rental companies yeah hey guys so before we start this video i just wanted to let you know that i'm currently in california so i know that there's a lot of you guys in california so if you guys want to hang out let me know right now uh let's hang out let's have some fun talk meet up whatever i don't care i appreciate you all i mean uh, just let me know what you guys want to do if you guys want to hang out just uh let me know uh, under this video okay and as soon as i'm done with today's video i will uh upload it uh, probably the next day so this is pretty much up-to-date video okay uh, so yeah just let me know guys and enjoy this video uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
That's awesome. So you said he rescued this thing, right? That's awesome. Yeah, but they, they already have taken out the, the dye. The brown color is so rare, though. This is... But, but this so, is a Euro wagon. This is a Euro wagon, yeah. Manual, manual doors. Yeah. Ooh. So he wants to make a 240D out of it. Yeah. Oh, he wants to put a 240D engine in this thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of those in Europe. The 240D wagons. Mm -hmm. That is super cool. That's definitely, you know... Well, that's awesome. I'm really, I'm always grateful when, you know, people uh, save amazing cars like this, you know, because, you know, they're getting more rare and rare, you know, and thanks to people like AQ and others, it's it's great that you guys do this kind of thing, you know. Um, 73, with a 4.5 liter. Wow, is it uh, W108 or what? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. W108? Yeah. That's and awesome. It, it did? Nice, yeah. nice. That's pretty cool. England, wow! Now that is super cool. Man. Even even cat even cat likes uh, classic Mercedes. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, kitty. <laughs> uh, but that's awesome. Are you don't want anything to drink? Oh yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've had some water and stuff, but appreciate you. An inches. That's pretty crazy. How did you do that? <laughs> and chopped the egg. That's a crazy. No way. <laughs> I think I've seen one of these cars you posted. I was like, uh, is this like a Photoshop or what is that? I, I don't understand. But now I'm seeing this as real stuff. <laughs> I'm about to get the glass window. That's crazy. Wait, how did you? So you cut it off right here somewhere. And then you just like kind of shortened it. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That is crazy. This thing goes like this, so when, uh -huh, when for you sure. cut it, then this ends up longer, so you have to yeah. make up for the difference. Wow, that is some crazy stuff. And I, I also put Mercedes seats on it, but, but it's kind of like a... Even a tow hitch? That is super cool. <laughs> like an A-class. You, you did? It you oh, it's open? Gotcha. Yeah. That is super cool. Black interior as well stick shift what? <laughs> that is something i like this thing <laughs> that is I super cool my... how long how long did it take you to do all this three months three months working, working full time. full time <laughs> that is crazy well you you have a really awesome talent you know i'm gonna tell you that that's super cool well, i like to have cars that are the one and only yeah i know just exceptional cars <laughs> for sure yeah, I like this thing. Even a sunroof too? Yeah, right top. That is crazy. <laughs> that is super cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, I can put my big truck out there yeah, with the trailer. Yeah, sure. This thing, I need to get it running. Uh, the Hey, since I'm here, let's let's do something. Let's like let's, let's get one of these cars running and stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's do something. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm getting pumped up. <laughs> I like this I thing. I did everything I could to, to uh, get fuel to the injectors and the uh -huh. pump never. Is this a this is a diesel, right? Yeah. Wow. One ninety. Nice, sixty something, right? Well, if I get it running, I. I that is so I'll cool. Store the brakes and you know, get it. Oh yeah. A little bit, but. Um, that is Put cool. I like this. Put it here from a 123. Yeah. You know, do something. For sure. I like this thing. <laughs> I have more in the back. I yeah, for sure. I have a red one with a sunroof. A red one with a sunroof. <laughs> well, Frank has everything, guys. So he's about to show me the whole thing. The whole. Oh, you, you even have a lift. No way. That is super only awesome. Only I just I have, noticed that. The only reason why I have a Honda is because the wife oh yeah yeah i understand yeah i mean it's a good car you know there's nothing wrong good gas mileage and i feel like i feel like wives always like uh, japanese cars you know yeah that's a mexican segway Ooh. what do you use this for wait a minute that is crazy i actually that is so cool that is wow do you go hiking with this too <laughs> that is super cool <laughs> And you made this too, huh? Yeah, it's so automotive fully. So you, you got to tell me, Frank, are you like an engineer? Like, to tell me what's what's your like major? Well, yeah, what what did you do yeah, in life? One time we built an electric car. Nice. In the 70s. And uh, they started calling 
engineer. So I said, well, I'm not an engineer. If you build that car, you're an engineer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That is crazy. That's super cool. I like that. Oh, wow. Oh, the cat likes Hondas too. <laughs> yeah, she likes rods. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see where everything happened. Like, right? Wow. That is amazing. That's like a dream, dream place, dream I like garage. The work station. Right? Yeah. One over there, one over there, one yeah, here. Yeah, sure thing. And then, yeah, I like that. Springs, hubcaps, everything, bolts. I love how everything is organized. That's it's super like amazing. That. You remind me of my friend. I have a friend in Indiana, uh, and we used to work together, like, and work on cars and things like that. He also loves classic Mercedes, and, like, his garage is, you know, he has a smaller garage, obviously, but uh, it just reminds me of him, you know? He has everything, like, labeled and things like that and packed. It's, it's so nice, you know? And he's about, like, 60 years old now, too, so... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's crazy. I have a lot of different friends, different aged friends, you know. Now, well, this is, the, is this your current project? Right <laughs> that is super cool. Tell me about it. It's Tell me. I don't know nothing here. Tell me. I see the OM617 right there. That, that's the <laughs> 7 front end. Yeah. Wow. Because the 123 has a really weird one, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, friend, that is so cool. That is insane. That is super cool. So it's all Mercedes, except for... Yeah, the body, the body right. The hood, that's a, a ponton hood. Ponton. A VW hood, and then just a couple of inserts there. That's so cool. It's all, and of the, course all it fabricated that, and everything, yeah. It uses that grill over there. The wheels are also one of the good things, amazing things about it. I think I want to put wire wheels. I you do, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. That's but, still a story so unique, though. Oh my goodness. My gosh. Yeah, this thing wasn't a novel. Yeah. But my very first car was a, mm -hmm. a 56 VW Bug with the oval window. So I, I'm going back to the beginning. The going back to you, the, <laughs> how everything was back then, just to give you some memories from those so, times. So I got an insert from a novel and I put it in. Yeah, that is super cool. Yeah, I like these taillights too. Those are the ones you're gonna install on it, right? I'm probably gonna build some little fenders, like what fenders. I'm sure, truck, sure. This is gonna be painted. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's around. obviously work in progress. Yeah, but that's so amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Frank. You have a huge talent. Oh my gosh, that is super awesome. Guys, you gotta drop some comments and say a big thank you to Frank. Yeah. You know, um, you know, he's one of those awesome guys who actually does all this and helps other people out too, you know, and that's pretty cool. That's a true enthusiast, you know. Now check this out, bro. Here. This is a, a, a Volvo Duet. It is? Yeah, oh wow, okay. I have two of them. Um, These are the fenders from it, no? Yeah, those are the fenders from the Volvo. Wow, But I, have, I like this. I, I have like one and a half cars. I just noticed the, the kitty over there. <laughs> she's just following us. <laughs> she, yeah. She's following us. <laughs> no, this is the, oh my goodness. This is oh my goodness. <laughs> the veggie? Of course. Wow. And we gotta count how many times I said a wow today, you know, in this video. That is pretty amazing. It's also a, a Euro wagon. I like this thing. Problem. It's not diesel. Oh, M102. No way. That is crazy. I need one smog in California. Oh, so this needs to be smogged? Well, if I make a diesel, it won't. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But with this one, it has to be smogged, right? Yeah. In California? Yeah. So is it, uh, what does it need right now? Have you ever tried to like start it or no? Well, I'm going to go get a motor from Garrett tomorrow. Oh, you're going to put a diesel engine in, right? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. But actually, have you ever tried to start this one or no? The, yeah. This engine? No, yeah, it's, that is right. But, but it just won't pass. Gotcha. This is like, uh, you made my day today, by the way. That's awesome. You know, just knowing that, you know, these cars in this place, I mean, it just means that uh, it's in good hands, you know, because. You just got those two, two yeah. 26s. Is that green right there? That green color? 
Euro bumpers and everything. Where did you get this one from? How long time ago? From the coast. Recently, but mm -hmm. the rear windows are crank. Wow, that's so rare. Is it? <laughs> I wonder if anybody maybe uh like they replace it with electric ones or something. I doubt it because you don't think so? so that is insane. Is USA model. Mm -hmm. But the engine is coming out already so California. That is so amazing. I love this stuff. I love this place. Uh, that means I got to come here often and bother you. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, look at these. A wagon. 123, 124. That's a nice wagon. 160,000 miles. Oh, wow. All it needs is paint. Yeah. It is make sure i mean you know usually paint it's for california especially it's it's normal to ex uh, expect that you know yep. 123 dash <laughs> that is so cool deutschland used to be deutschland here see how the paint got uh you know it's like new right here <laughs> because of the sticker oh yeah Gotcha. And, the, and this was the holder for the round plate. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I got some scratched up and some rust right here, but that is super cool, you know. These cars, it's a, it's a piece of history, you know. That's why, you know, they don't make, uh, they will never make something like that anymore, sadly, you know. This one and those two mm -hmm. came from the Kuyama Garden, which was an outdoor museum, car museum. Wow. With 1,700 cars. No way. Is, that's in California, right? Nearby. Nearby? Yeah, like 30 minutes away from here. That's crazy. How long ago have you... Did you get it? Or did About you get three it? years ago. Three years when ago. When I first came, yeah. uh, I went to the place and I ended mm -hmm. up getting mm -hmm. whatever was left because most of the good stuff was gone. Wow. At least you got those for sure. But that's... Yeah, seeing all this stuff, it's it's awesome, you know? Because it's, uh, you know, you're putting all these things, all these cars to a good use, you know. Whether you're building them or that something, car, you know. There's still a lot of plans you have for... That showed up in the back. This one? Yeah. This one. And then I even stop a, a sheriff. I say, what? He said, don't worry, the car is clean. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a guy came and said, I put it there. It's yours. It's yours? <laughs> nice. Just gave it away. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Well, that's amazing. Literally, uh, thank you for showing the tour, you know, that's, that's pretty awesome. All rat infested. Well, guys, this is uh, going to be a Frank's beast that you are about to see uh, that he built. Um, OM617 Turbo. This thing is, is amazing. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. And he has air suspension too. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it.
their suspension down, yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Guys, did you see that? This is so cool. This is Frank's uh, build that he did. This is amazing. That thing is super fast too. That turbo spool, oh my goodness. This thing is a beast. Yeah. So you t tell me, so you built this on a 123 chassis, right? But you just kind of like, like fabricated it and you put the body from a different... I have a lot of pictures, but the, yeah. the secret, I first had to build a soft frame before yeah. I got the car. You had to build a frame, right, yeah. right. So once I got the soft frame, mm -hmm. then I started cutting the body mm -hmm. and I put the cab. First. Cab I on top. the firewall. Yes. From there, the rest just... That is super amazing. I love it. That is amazing, Frank. That is super cool. <laughs> that is super amazing. So okay, so you have you have a different turbo. I can see. All right. So you have. Just for looks. Yeah, yeah, just for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, what else have you done to it? Because it's it's so good and powerful. Like it's amazing. Well. Recently, when I put those tires, mm -hmm. I, I put the 240D differential, which is a 367? 367, yeah, something like yeah. that. I, I can't remember now, yeah. yeah. And that compensated for the extra, di extra diameter. Uh -huh. And you don't really feel a lot of loss of power. Sure, sure. Big yeah, oh, this, this thing is so powerful and stuff. Oh, man. So what, what kind of suspension do you have? Like, I know you have air suspension, but uh, what as far as like the control arms and stuff, what do you, what well, do you have on that? It's just stock. A, it's just it's stock. This gotcha, and gotcha, gotcha. Build the basis for the springs. And... Oh, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Oh yeah, I see. That is super cool. Yeah, that is a 123 body. You just kind of modified this thing. That is super cool. Yeah, I like that so much. Wow. <laughs> that is so amazing. I have an album. When you were doing this. Oh. Amazing. We even managed to put the hubcaps, Mercedes hubcaps. That is so cool. That is well, amazing. I had to weld it. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure table. everything about this build is, you know, <laughs> fabrication and lots of hours of work and, you know, thoughts and things like that. But, oh my gosh, I got to tell you, you, you're amazing. Didn't doing all this stuff? Wow. Thank you for giving me a ride. That was awesome. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, uh, this truck is really fast with that engine and everything still. My gosh. Trunk, right? This was the trunk, right? All right. Yeah, so you they, built they, all, the, all this the frame. The tank was right there. Yeah, I see the spare tire area from 123 yeah. and everything. <laughs> so cool. So as far as the fuel tank, it's right there now. You built a different one for it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. That's cool. Is it still gravity fed, right? Or you put some pump in there? Well, it has the regular lift pump. A lift that's lift. my yeah, fuel yeah. gauge right there. Oh, gotcha. It's over there, huh? Yeah, you just yeah, see sure. the level right there. Sure, sure. <laughs> that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. It still has some, yeah. <laughs>
very accurate <laughs> yeah that, exactly <laughs> it's a, it's a lot more accurate than uh, on most 123s you know it's not erratic <laughs> especially running on veggie they go oh yeah oh yeah so that was the w123 right the the hot rod yeah the very beginning when i started cutting the car mm -hmm. and then building the soft frame yeah wow and then installing the cab that is amazing that must have been a lot of work oh my goodness very intense three months but uh, it came together pretty nice all right guys so these are all the different the uh, hardware from classic mercedes mainly that frank keeps actually in it everything is so nice and organized and i mean this is pretty amazing this literally is my favorite drawer right there that is awesome for sure <laughs> that is amazing all the, the clips, red clips yeah everything everything <laughs> amazing you have everything yeah the main thing is to have it all organized which you have and it's all so cool yeah crush washers o-rings amazing he already did the cutout for the coupler yeah so this is a starter motor from om617 i'm assuming well this and is then... this is from a ford oh ford okay yeah. i mean it's still so a big start i have to get it where it doesn't have the bushing in the front right yeah sure so so i can do this so then we're gonna have the valve connected with lines mm -hmm. a reservoir and a couple of cages with the pistons to be able to pressurize them and measure all the pressures and make sure everything works. that is really cool yeah this is guys by the way who doesn't know this is uh the sls pump from wm 617 wagon okay this is uh, frank is building uh the stand the bench stand for testing these sls pumps right now which is super cool i mean that's pretty awesome so he's in the middle of working on that so um you know if you guys need anything any help or some parts you know i'll leave frank's info down below so you guys can check him out he's really awesome you know he's he's been doing uh these uh, he's been or working on these cars forever and uh you know he's a huge classic mercedes enthusiast so i really thank you frank for everything you do and you're awesome seriously 1931 that is insane i love this thing 126 <laughs> Ooh, you know i went to vegas and uh, not vegas but i went to nevada and in reno they have a really cool uh, classic car museum over there it was the only mercedes over there this this guy yeah. and yeah i took a picture of that thing i was staring at it for like two hours i didn't want to leave <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah she's cute that's the main lady. <laughs> you do? Oh, I gotta see it. No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, is there? Nice, for sure. Anyways, guys, so uh, this was Frank. You know, like I said, I'm gonna leave his, uh, you know, contacts down below and stuff like that. So Frank introduced me and showed me his shop around, which is really cool. It's really awesome. I'm really glad to meet you, you know. Um, thank you Same for showing me here. everything, you know. Thank you for loving these cars and taking care of it and being an amazing enthusiast. So anyways, so sometime uh, in the future we'll see each other again okay, but you know it's it's great seeing you you know just keep it up and enjoy what you're doing you know I and you guys going. thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time uh, next time i can't even talk anymore <laughs> anyways okay, take care <laughs> all right guys i'm just driving back home right now uh it's been a long day but i had so much fun and uh, hopefully you guys had too so stay tuned there's gonna be a lot more videos on my channel thank you so much for all your support and the watching you guys are awesome and don't forget to save classic cars